Fan out wafer level packaging is really a breakthrough technology that is now commonly found on most of the smartphones and other handheld electronics. It was primarily designed to address the growing mismatch and interconnect gap between the active silicon die and the PCB. In simple terms, uh, fan out technology utilizes a, a wafer reconstruction process where known good dies from the original device wafer are picked and placed on a substrate and then over molded uh, with um, epoxy molding compound and cured to create what is known as a heterogeneous substrate or a reconstituted wafer. So uh, the dyes in the reconstituted wafer are predominantly made of silicon which has a coefficient of thermal expansion of uh, 2.5 parts per million per degree C. While the over molding compound has a CTE of about 7 to 8 parts per million per degree C. So depending on the die size and the density, there is inherent CT mismatch of the silicon die and the epoxy molding compound, which creates high residual stress and significant bowing of the substrate. In uh, several advanced integration schemes, uh, the reconstituted wafer is temporarily bonded to a carrier before the fabrication of uh, RDL layers, what is uh, redistribution layers, either on one side or both sides of the wafer. Uh, the bonded wafer typically goes through all the process steps from uh, dielectric deposition, metallization, any photolithography process, and to um, uh, fan out interconnections from the dye area to the mold compound area. Uh, finally, the reconstituted wafer then goes through normal uh, wafer level bumping and then singulation processes. Uh, fan out packages are predicted to become thinner and thinner to meet the market needs. And as uh, 300 millimeter reconstituted wafers become thinner, uh, or as and when they move to a panel size processing, uh, these wafers or substrates are no longer self-supporting and they require a wafer support system uh, for handling uh, these kind of reconstituted wafers.